गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सर जितेंद्र कुमार झा असिस्टेंट टीचर सेंट माइकल अकेडमी बेतिया प्रेजेंट हियर विथ ए टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर स्टैंडर्ड एट दिस टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इज रेशनल नंबर विच इज लेशन वन इट इज ऑलरेडी नोन टू यू ऑल दैट काउंटिंग नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल नंबर्स इट इज डिनोटेड बाई एन नेचुरल नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर्स डिनोटेड बाई एन डिनोटेड बाई एन एन कैन बी प्रेजेंटेड ऑन द नंबर लाइन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव बट दिस ग्रुप ऑफ नंबर आर इनसफिशियंट एज इट डिड नॉट हैव एंसर्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन लाइक टू माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू वाट सो The group of numbers was extended by adding a number zero. This new group is called whole numbers, denoted by double zero, one, two, three, four, five. This is a group of whole number. It can be represented. On the number line zero, one, two, three, four, five. In the natural number, the least number is one, and the last number is not one. Similarly, in the whole number, the least number is zero, and the last number is not one. But again, this group of number was insufficient as it did not have answers of the questions like two minus three is equal to what. So again, there arises a question that this natural number. And whole number is not sufficient. So this extended by adding a number negative of the natural numbers. Suppose we have zero in the middle of the number line, and one, two, three, four. Five and on the left hand side it is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Then it makes a group of number called integers. So integer is a group of number. In which zero counting numbers and the negative of the counting numbers are available, so we can write we can write and represent it by a and the numbers are minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four. Now. We come to the conclusion after understanding these numbers. We come to the conclusion that is this natural number, whole number, integers are sufficient to answer our questions like two divided by three is equal to what, five divided by seven is equal to what. 
No, this group of numbers is not sufficient to answer our question. So, the group of numbers must be extended to, to answer these type of questions. Now, it is the need of the rational number. The number the number of the form a by b b is not equal to 0 where a and b are integers and b is not equal to 0 are called are called rational numbers rational numbers a by b where a is the numerator and b is the denominator of the rational number Now, take an example of the rational number 2 by 3, 5 by 7, minus 3 by minus 4, minus 7 by minus 3. These are the examples of the rational numbers. If the numerator and denominator both are positive or both are negative. In that case, the rational number is called positive rational numbers. If a rational, this was in the second example, 2 by 7, 3 by minus 7. Here, if the numerator is negative, then denominator is positive. If the numerator is positive, then the denominator is negative. Then the rational number is called negative rational number. Now, we have to find out the standard form of the rational number. Standard form of rational rational numbers. A rational number a by b is called in this standard form if there is no common factor between a and b except one and the b is greater than 0 means b is not negative we can make it more clear with an example suppose we have 15 by minus 10 we can convert it by multiplying the numerator and denominator by minus 1 so it will be 15 minus 15 by 20 and can divide it by 5 3 ja, and 4 ja, and we convert it into minus 3 by 4 so this minus 3 by 4 is a decimal number in this standard form now, the second point is representing it on the number line. Representing rational numbers on the number line. Take a number line, put 0 in the middle. Suppose we have to represent a number 
टू बाई फाइव टू बाई फाइव ऑन द नंबर लाइन यू मे सी आई हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड दिस वन ऑन दिस पेपर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट ऑन दिस नंबर लाइन द नंबर इज टू बाई फाइव Observing the number, we can come to the conclusion that either it is greater than zero or less than zero. Certainly, it is greater than zero because its value is not negative. Now, it means it will be projected in the on the right hand side of the zero. So, see the denominator and divide this distance into five equal parts. One. Two, three, four, and this will be the fifth part. Now, this first line represents represent one by five. The second one, two by five. The third one, three by five. The fourth one, four by five, and the last one, five by five, which is equal to one. But we have to represent two by five. So make an arrow and put two by five here. This is the representation of number two by five on the number line. Now I want to make it more clear. This with one or two more numbers to represent it on the number. Here is zero. This is one, and at the same distance in the left hand side, it is minus one. You can see the number is already represented on this paper. We have to represent one by two and minus one by two on the number line. The piece of paper is in my hand. This is a complete piece of paper. One piece of paper. I have to represent half piece of paper. Certainly, it will be divided in two parts, and we can represent this one as a half piece of paper. Similarly, this distance will be divided in two parts, and again, this distance will be also divided in two parts. This one is one by two, and this one is minus one by two. In this way, we can represent a positive and a negative both rational numbers on the number line. We have this third number, two, three by four, and we have to represent it on the number line. Now. Again, take a number line. We have to represent the positive number, but I, this one is two, three by four, or you may write it eleven by four. This number is greater than two and less than three. Two whole three upon four means this number is. Greater than two and less than three. Set zero in the middle of the line. Minus one. So you can take according to according to your requirement. Zero here, minus one. One at the same distance. Two. And then this three. The one and two is already represented on the number line, but we have to represent this three by four in between two and three. Here the numerator is three and the denominator is four, so I have to divide this distance between two to three into four equal parts. One. Two, three, and this one is four. One is already represented. Two is already represented. 
this one is 2 1 upon 4 2 2 upon 4 and this one is the 2 3 upon 4 2 3 upon 4 or you may write it 11 upon 4 in this way we can represent a number on the number lines children we have already discussed all about the additional numbers one by one you have the book available with you you can solve the exercises and we will meet to solve your problems when we will meet in the class thank you children